Today, we're gonna talk about how Binance US is building an office in the metaverse. Guys, everybody looking to work in the metaverse. We're also gonna look at the charts and see where we're at right now and where we're headed. Let's go. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? You got Crypto Chuck back here to Google Crypto Black. Guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. <laughs> if you guys are in the, uh, if you move over to, uh, uh, you've been following me on Twitter, you're having a great day. And on top of that, guys, I hope you guys, uh, you know, move some stuff, stuff over to, to uh to stables you know what i mean and let them ride out a little bit but if you've been following me on twitter then you know you're fine you're fine at the moment uh we do have some winners we got over the weekend but the weekend was kind of tough guys but make sure you guys like share and subscribe to the channel follow us on all the di all different social media handles we are at the crypto black on twitter you uh uh twitter we are on tiktok as well as instagram at the crypto black and guys you know here crypto black baby and we'll have a private facebook group as well which is crypto black guys also if you're brand new to cryptocurrency you want to learn about cryptocurrency so you know what i'll keep hearing about it i want to learn about it. i want to know what can i do guys make sure you go uh check out our website cryptoblack.net we have a beginner course over there also you can go over there you, you know buy some crypto if you want to click coinbase uh crypto.com celsius if you want to start uh earning money on your crypto as well you click the links take you right there and on top of that guys you get rewarded by clicking these links and signing up and i actually start loading up your account take you to our podcast a lot of good information on our podcast guys and go right and get some some of our merch crypto black t-shirts everything showing that you out here supporting you know what i mean so um yeah guys also what we're going to talk about today, we're talking about Binance.us is building an office in the metaverse. Guys, we know the metaverse is blowing up right now. I bought some solace uh, over the weekend. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that, uh, with my results. Very happy, shall I say, uh, with that. So, um, you know, we're going to keep on going, man. The metaverse is how it is. DeFi Kingdoms over in Harmony. I told you guys about that last week. Uh, so, you know, we'll keep it going. On Twitter, guys, I told you guys, I said, listen, I said, we closed below 44.1. I told y'all uh, on, on January 6th, I tweeted this. But like I said, I told y'all, I stayed it for weeks. If we close below 44.1, next stop is 40,000. And guys, you know exactly what happened. Uh, we did it, you know, we, did a, we ran a Cody that night on uh, Twitter on January 6th. Um, guys, I said, I'm preparing for a weekend cra flash crash. I'll be accumulating my core five coins. BTC, Ethereum, BNB, ADA, LTC, the honorable mention, Harmony Protocol. You know what I mean? And guys, I tweet this out here today. Be cautious this week. People uh, that's in crypto and trading across the board. You know, if you follow the traditional markets, you see uh, all the other uh, uh, Dow, NASDAQ, S&P, they're all down. Only thing up is bonds. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit sideline. And like, you know, I see something, I'm always gonna follow the, the, the volume, but I'm a, more cautious. I'm gonna sit sideline or short the market, uh, you know, up until Wednesday because the CPI numbers come out. So, if you guys come over here, you can see, uh, you know, this week, you know, it's pretty busy, and you know, you have the Fed chair Powell testimony, uh, uh, which is tomorrow and at 10 a.m. Also, guys, we have the inflation, uh, you know, CPI, so we have the inflation year over year coming out. Uh, forecast is 7.1, it was 6.8%, which is really high, guys. Really, that's really high. And, um, you know, we're looking at a 7.1 is the forecast core inflation rate, you know. So, guys, I mean, you know, we'll go over the uh, consumer protect uh, price index CPIs. So, we're going to see exactly what the numbers come out. So, be cautious, guys. So, that comes out at uh, 8 30 in the morning. So, about nine o'clock, guys, you, you, you know, we should see directly what the market is going to be doing all right well i say by 9 9 30 the market will open up we're going to see what the crypto market is going to do so i say i'll stay clear guys until about 10 10 ish so i can see exactly what's going on but you can also trade on those initial news the crypto is 24 7 
So you can, you know, so uh, you can you can short the market if the market start dumping, or you can long if you start seeing it start push up. So the numbers come out favorably. All right. Well, follow us on Twitter, guys. Also, uh, if you guys hop to Solace, you actually actually start staking as well. Like I said, go follow me on Twitter, guys. I'm telling you a lot of good information is on Twitter that I post. I post trades late at night, and I'm hopping in different things as well as really good news. I think you're gonna make money on. All right. Uh, also, follow my guy, Extra Strategy, man. My guy, uh, Plun, follow him on Extra Strategy. Real good dude. Uh, actually, I didn't even follow him. I got to follow him. My bad. Yeah, so uh, I see his stuff pop up. But, yeah, follow him on Twitter, Extra Strategy. That's my guy, Justin, doing real good. He's a Crypto Black uh, member as well and really smart guy. So follow him on Twitter as well. It's my guy. He knows what he's talking about. All right? So, guys, BTC, looking at Bitcoin real quick, guys. Bitcoin, I'm still, I'm sorry, but I'm still in a bearish. I love Bitcoin, but right now we have 41,700 $41, bucks. All right, we're down 10% for the week, 15% for the month, and down 25% for the last three months. Guys, um, you know, we, we're still below this this fan. Like I said, we're below 44.1. It is that we did. Good thing is that we are above and we closed above 40,000. But at the end of the day, guys, when you're looking at uh looking at this here, we, you know we're look we're a little bit above the fan, the game fan, all right. But we got to close above this, all right. We, we wicked all the way down. I told you, flash crash over the weekend. We I was off by a few hours, but we was down, man. We was down. We, we went on, uh <laughs> we went to forty thousand. You know what I mean? But um we we, we literally just went down uh below forty thousand not too long ago, guys. And I was seeing a lot of loans getting liquidated as well. Uh, so guys, make sure, you know, you're being cautious. Don't try to trade this too much. Just accumulate the thing that you want long-term. Do I see 50? everything is pointing down at the moment, but this market is not over. All right. This, this, this bull cycle is not over guys. So like I said, accumulate the thing that you want trying to trade. This is not going to be good. I'm telling you right now, because you know, you can, you can buy up here, you get mad. So every, we, we're below everything, man. We're below everything. So just try to be cautious on that. Looking at Binance, guys, uh, speaking of BNB, Binance US, looking at Binance, guys, I have my um, I have my uh, uh, support here at 400. We broke, we bust through. I mean, everything is down. We all know everything is down. We bust through down here. We went all the way down. I tell you, flash crashes, guys. Flash crashes went all the way down to 405. We came right back up, back at 425. But uh, just make sure you guys protecting your accounts, protecting your uh, your banks. Uh, you know, if you guys got set up BYOB, protecting your banks and making sure those health scores are up. Um, because these little flash crashes can get you liquidated. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you are, uh, you're set up. All right. But look at this. 400 is the next is the uh next stop guys let's try to stay above that but man seeing bnb come over down to 425 don't look good at all man i got a bag over there so let's go so it says binance us uh to get virtual offers in the metaverse now it says according to the available uh available information binance us will be setting up in portals a metaverse project built on the solana network portals is an nft pl uh, collection that offers 5,000 access key cards that allow owners to uh, uh to access a ready-made and customizable space in the virtual world unlike its competitors like decentraland the sand uh in the sandbox and others portals users have a complete dense urban environment where they can explore the building and hold in, uh interactive sessions now, per a statement from Binance spokesperson, the virtual building is expected to be a place for the exchange users in his words. Uh, quote, we are creating a space in the metaverse for the Binance.us community to come together. It's the first of many steps we're taking to be forward looking as we build and reach our community in new environments. Now, uh, end quote, they said we nailed a metaverse space, which one do you guys like better join us join us on spaces to learn more so you guys you know twitter spaces you can go on there and get a lot of information on twitter spaces just like clubhouse but on twitter you come in listen and talk and uh chop it up learn learn a lot as well it says it was revealed that ftx.us could also be look, looking to build a virtual office in portals also solana based projects like radium magic eating and audius would have a space in this metaverse 
a virtual office would operate just like a traditional office where several office duties occur. The only difference is that virtual offices exist solely on the blockchain, while traditional offices require the physical presence of the workers. Then the rise of virtual buildings, since Facebook revealed that it was rebranding the meta and shifting its focus to the metaverse, uh, several traditional firms and institutions have also stepped up activities in the space. Uh, as a recent reporter, like trying to um, lead electronic manufacturer Samsung launched a virtual store called Samsung, and we covered that right there. Uh, part of this also reported the Barbados could become the first sovereign state in the world to build an embassy in the metaverse. Then we cover that as well. Other notable firms that metaverse uh, buildings, consensus software, created digital wallet, MetaMask, another honorable mention, Adidas, who has partnered with a number of crypto firms on its venture in the space. So, guys, you guys see it. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of companies are coming to the metaverse. Disney also uh, was talking about how they come to the metaverse as well. Just imagine walking around Disney Disney World uh, in the metaverse. That'd be pretty fun for a lot of kids as well. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, this is what we got right now, guys. I just said, man, just be cautious over the weekend. Um, you know what it was. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm tweeting out a lot of good stuff over here. And I'm telling you, just be cautious up to Wednesday because we do have the CPI numbers coming out. And it all depends on what those numbers are going to say. And we're going to see how the market is going to move. But besides that, guys, that's all I got for you guys. Happy Monday. Enjoy your week. Guys, um, you know, like I said, protect your accounts. But you know what? I think it'll be greener pastures on the long term, over the long term. All right. I'll see you guys next video. Make sure you guys stack your sacks and chill. You got Crypto Chuck here with the group Crypto Black. We out of here, baby. Peace. Wednesday at one live. You're doing Q and A's as well at the end. Holla at me, baby. Peace.